Hi, everybody, and thanks for logging on to our Facebook page. I'm Rich Funky, candidate for state senate in the 55th district. Once again, I want to thank everybody who works so hard, either as an organizer or a volunteer, a sponsor, or a spectator, to make the final Wegmans LPGA Championship such a great success at Monroe Golf Club. It is sad to see this summer festival come to an end, but I think we can all be proud as a community for making the LPGA Tour what it is today, right here in our town, and for growing the game of golf and inspiring more girls to play golf. I also want to talk to you today about my decision to run on the Stop Common Core ballot line this fall. We've submitted nearly 4,000 signatures to secure that designation, and I do want to thank everyone who signed on to help. Look, I have seven teachers on my side of the family. Our children deserve high academic standards and world-class opportunities for learning. And every good teacher and administrator goes to work each and every day trying to achieve that. But everywhere I go in Monroe and Ontario counties, parents, students, and teachers say they are frustrated by the Common Core curriculum. The rollout, as we know, is poorly administered, and Common Core takes away a certain amount of local control, not to say anything about creativity, in our schools. Over-testing has created unnecessary stress on everybody. So it's clear to me that changes need to be made, and by stopping Common Core and taking a step back, I think we can take the time needed to address the problems with it and find solutions to provide our kids with the best education possible. I spoke with parents like Noreen Walker of Pittsford who told me that Common Core has adversely affected her family because it's created high anxiety, removed parental involvement, and really tied the hands of teachers. One size fits all education just doesn't work. We don't have a standards problem so much in New York as we have an achievement problem in some schools, certainly not all, because we have some very good school districts, some of the very best in the entire country in the 55th district. Along with stopping Common Core, I'm determined to stop the destructive gap elimination adjustment, which has cut millions in state aid from our local school districts. This was something that was put in place when the New York City Democrats seized power in the state Senate back in 2009, and I want to fully eliminate the GEA so that schools will begin to receive the state funding they need, and that will ultimately provide relief for property taxpayers as well. You know, we are rounding second and heading for home in this campaign, and I want to thank all of you for your financial help, your volunteer help, your kind words of support. I'm going to continue to need that right into November. This is going to be a tough fight. It's going to take a team effort, and I need each and every one of you on our team. It is critical that we win this seat to keep the majority in the Senate so that we can protect our interests here in western New York and the Finger Lakes. Until next week, God bless.